What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know what that was. I am not a wizard, believe it or not. Um, today is new video guitar day. It's not brand new guitar because I got it about a week ago, but I guess it is. It's my brand new Josh Williams Mockingbird. This thing is a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. Long time coming. I've been wanting a 335 since I was yay high. And um, just never found the right one. And I've talked to so many pro musicians throughout my career about, you know, when I meet somebody that has a great 335, I'm like, what's the story? All right, what's your story on how you ended up with this? Because they're always good stories. Because 335s are not the most consistent instrument. Um, you know, I, I would gather, you know, from, from guitar to guitar in terms of like, the Gibson product or, you know, Collins or Heritage or whatever, um, any of the ones that I've played, they're all different. They all feel really different, obviously. They're different uh, companies making them. But even in a Gibson world, you can pick up, you know, 10 in a row and they're all going to be completely different and sound different, be different weights. Um, for some reason, you know, the pickups, even they might be the same pickups or different pickups, whatever it may be, but there's always something different about it. And you may not find the thing that resonates with you, right? So, how did I end up here with the Josh Williams instead of just buying a Gibson or whatever? Well, I would say the history of searching for one never went how I wanted it to go. So, what did I have to lose, you know, kind of going in a direction with a custom uh, boutique builder? Nothing really, you know. I met Josh through doing my show at home with Mark he was on and I will tell you ladies and gentlemen I am a huge fan of supporting good people and what they're doing Josh and his team are a group of really wonderful human beings the customer service throughout the process from when I put my deposit down until I paid my last chunk of money towards it every bit Russ and everybody over there it it is just I don't know. It was amazing to deal with him. I'm always going to go with the people that have a good heart and they wear it on their sleeve and they make a great product. Enough said. I'm going to get off my soapbox. But this instrument is fantastic. Charcoal Frost, which was my choice. Josh had never done that color before. And at the end, when he was done the guitar and he sent it to me, he was like, dude, that color is awesome. It's like one of my new favorite colors now, which I love because it is a great color. The Tort Pick Guard with it, oh, so sexy, so sexy. Pickups are from uh, the company Tone Specific. They are the uh, Balloon Buckers, I believe that's what they're called, right? Yeah. Um, so it's a partnership between Tone Specific and my buddy Ford Thurston, who's also on the show. These pickups are slamming. Uh, when I play, you'll hear up in the higher register, zero ice pick effect at all. The smoothest attack, even, even in the lower register, like... The way that the notes bloom and, and come together and how the, you know, the shelf of that high end, it's just a beautiful, beautiful sound through these pickups. Now, that is a big compliment to the instrument in and of itself because these are just projecting what this thing has, you know, the mojo that this thing has in it. At some point, I may swap them out. I may try my buddy James from Rewind makes amazing PAFs. I might try to drop them in here to see how I feel, but these... Are killing. So if you're gonna get one of these instruments, um, you know, fear not. They're fantastic. Uh, the neck is finished. That was the one thing I was a little concerned about because usually if I play any uh, fenders that have like a glossy like finished neck, it always feels sticky. I sweat a lot. You know, my hands at least when I'm playing, I get gunky, and it uh, it can can you know kind of mess up your game that night if it's, you've got some stickiness on here. It feels like the floor of a movie theater sometimes. This thing. Not at all. It is like one of the most comfortable, smooth necks that I have ever, ever played. Got these awesome split block end lays. It's just great. Stays in tune fantastically well. That headstock is just amazing. I love his logo. Makes me feel like I just walked into a saloon in the Old West and picked up a guitar sitting in the corner. Ah, so, it's great. My heart is very full, ladies and gentlemen. I had to sell several instruments to get this, but now that I have my Strat and I've got this and I got the other guitar and open C tuning, I'm good to go. Good to go. So we're gonna run this sucker into the Bloomfield Drive today. I got a pedal board on the ground. We've got 
uh, Wampler Mini Ego, Exotic, Wa, uh, Kingtone, SI, Silicon Fuzz. Um, one of my new favorite, I'm not even messing with you, there'll be a video about this, but one of my favorite new overdrive pedals from LPD Pedals, the 68. Dude, so good. Just a, just a fantastic overdrive. It's got overdrive, it's got a boost, and it has like a push circuit in the middle that kind of goes into higher gain mode. Kind of like the JHS Morning Glory has that little switch. Same concept, but it's on a switch. A button. Um, foot switch, I should say. Uh, Monument from Walrus Audio for some tremolo, if we want to go there. And then the Kilo, uh, Kili Electronics Halo for some slapback. We might do that. We might employ that. Can't make any promises. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to start off on the bridge pickup. Yodelay he who. <laughs> I mean, how, what else do I need? What else do I need? All right, so let's let's put some pedals on, man. I wanna show you, actually really quick before I put some overdrive or anything on, I wanna show you up in the upper register just how nice these notes bloom and how it's not ice picky. So let's play up here. See what I'm saying? Like those notes up top, it's just got this nice, soft, cushy attack, but it's still super articulate and clear. It's a beautiful guitar. All right, let's do, uh, let's put the boost on. So let's just, I'm gonna stay on the uh, bridge pickup for right this second. I'll show you when I, this means both of them are on. This is neck, obviously, and this is bridge. Thank you. 
That's the boost from LPD pedals. Now let's put the overdrive on and go back to the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna go overdrive and boost. How about them apples? Good gravy. All right, let's put the uh, overdrive on and then the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> I mean, I am absolutely in love with this guitar. It's just got everything. I mean, it really covers a lot of ground. I mean, they always say 335 or a telly is kind of like the Swiss Army knife. All right, let's see what it does with fuzz and then we'll cut out of here and put some slap back on too to make it interesting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. So there you have it. The Josh Williams Mockingbird. It is a goosebump given son of a gun. I will say that. If you are looking for a 335 and you went through the same thing I went through where you just could not find the right instrument for you. Yes, I know these are expensive. I'm 100% aware of that. I am aware of the privilege that comes with owning an instrument like this. Having the means to do it. Uh, granted, I sold a bunch of my stuff just so I could get this. I sold a really nice Sir and I sold a really nice PRS and I was able to get this by doing that. So I'm very lucky in that sense. Um, but I will tell you, this is one of the greatest 335s I have ever played, hands down. Hands down. And there is no argument that anyone could make to me, um, otherwise. <laughs> so, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, check them out. Go to the website, Josh Williams Guitars. Check out what they got going on. They do they do 335s. They do like a junior thing. They do like a single cut um, 335 vibe, which kind of feels almost like a like a Gretsch in a way. And they'll do whatever you want them to do and color wise. You can pick out all that stuff. Make it your own thing. This is the only guitar in existence that looks like this. You know, there's not an assembly line of these things flying off the shelf that all your friends are gonna have when you walk into a bar and see them playing with their bands. This is a special thing that everybody has the opportunity to go after, and I highly recommend it. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time.